today I'm going to be doing kind of a different video than what I've done so far. Um, many of you might not know this, but I, I am a twin mama. Um, I do have twin two-year-old boys. They're going to be three in the fall. Um, so the video today, as you can tell from the title up above, is kind of surviving twins and like the infant stage, so zero to six months. I found that to be the hardest stage, so I kind of wanted to do a video on it to just kind of help other people who may have been going through some of the same things as me and kind of help them out and kind of help them along. Anyways, so I have a list as per usual. Okay, so just getting right to it. Number one is have backup. I know not everybody has the luxury of having friends and family and everybody close to them. A lot, like, you know, some people don't. But if you can, make sure you have backup. It's it's okay to ask for help and it's okay to have people on standby if you're having a really overwhelming day. So, although it's not possible for everybody. That's kind of one of my main things is just make sure you have some kind of backup or maybe a spouse or a partner who is extremely helpful because this is going to be hard. It's not easy, but it is so worth it. Um, number two, have a portable change station. So for me, I went to Walmart and I had I had bought this thing because I used to do Sensi um, and I had bought this kind of like tool kit. It's like a cloth tool kit. And I obviously didn't use it for tools, but it, it's kind of, it was just sitting around my house. I couldn't find it um, to show you guys, but it had a bunch of pockets on the outside, a bunch of pockets on the inside. I used it to hold diapers, wipes, bum cream. Um, my boys had eczema, so I had lotions and stuff in there. Um, basically anything you need when you're doing a change. So if it's portable you can take it like from your bedroom I used it in my bedroom a lot like throughout the night um, I did have the boys in my bedroom for the first almost six months so um, if you can have a portable change station to just take to the living room to your bedroom and kind of just back and forth it's a lot easier than having one stationary change table in their bedroom um, just have like a quick little portable honestly it'll save you um, number three don't hold them constantly. Yes, they're babies. Yes, you want that bond with them. But if you hold them constantly, like my biggest issue was there was two of them and I spent a lot of time kind of like by myself with them. So I found that I was holding them a whole lot. So like um, I would hold one until he fell asleep. And then even while he was sleeping, I would continue to hold him until the other one woke up. And then around and around we go. So I'm basically... 24 7 holding a baby and yes I wanted the bond with them but now looking back on it I should have put them down when they were sleeping that way I could have gotten more things done I could have had some me time I went through really severe postpartum depression and I think that may have been not the entire reason because it happens all on its own but I wish I could have had more me time or used that time to sleep instead of just constantly holding a baby okay so number four feed them on the same schedule so this one is super important I feel like um, for me so when one would, so this is what happened for the first couple of months. I would feed one, get that one off to sleep, and I thought that I wanted them on staggered schedules because then I'm not feeding two babies at the same time. I'm not doing all that all at once because it was really overwhelming. Um, I did breastfeed for the first, I want to say two months, um, and then had to stop due to medications that I was on. Um, so I had them on staggered schedules for a while. And looking back, like, I wish I would have tried harder in the beginning to get them on more of a routine. So feed them at the same time, burp them, change them, do whatever you need to do, get them down at the same time. That way they sleep at the same time and you have all this time to do, you know, you can sleep yourself because as a new parent, you're going to be tired. It's just going to happen. Um, if you already have children, you know this. 
just trying really hard to get them on the same schedule, feed them both at the same time, change them both um, one after the other, get them ready for sleep again. And once they're sleeping, that's when you can sleep, you can clean, you can have a bath, you can do whatever you need to do for you. Um, so that one is huge. And I didn't discover that one until about, like I said, two or three months in. Um, put them, try really hard to put them on the same schedule. Um, number five, join some twin mom and parent groups on Facebook, um, like support groups and stuff. I did find a couple and they were extremely helpful, especially when I was going through my postpartum depression and I really felt like I was the only one going through this and it was really, really hard on me. So I joined a couple um, twin parenting groups and they honestly saved me. Um, I was able to get a lot of advice from people who had already been there and done that. And um, it's just a really positive, positive thing. Um, anyways, moving right along. Uh, number six, take care of you. This is why I think it's so important to have the babies on the same schedule because you can have a bath, you can do whatever you need to do for you, you can color, you can do whatever makes you happy. Um, <clears throat> um, so sorry, I'm just like reading my notes because I'm trying to make points to help you guys out and um, on here it says while they're asleep or playing and I know they don't really play a whole lot for the first couple months but um, like you know two three months when you can get them doing like belly time or like tummy time or just playing on the floor or in a swing or in a bouncer or whatever obviously that doesn't happen for the first couple of months um, but while they're sleeping or playing get up and do something for you take care of you um, because it it honestly does help and aid in taking care of the babies when you take care of yourself first many moms out there um, have a spouse that works full-time while you're at home with the babies so they might not be around as much as you want so you have to figure out how to do this by yourself and it just works better Hey guys, I'm back. I had a phone call. It was a very important phone call, but I am back. And I believe I was on number seven. So number seven is sleep when you can. Yes, it's a very obvious concept. Obviously, as a new parent with a baby, you're going to sleep as often and as much as you can. But I can't stress this enough. A lot of people use the time to clean or to whatever. Like, honestly, sleep as much as you can. Sleep when you can. Sleep when the babies sleep. Um, you know, even if you have to sleep kind of like with a baby in your arm in bed, I've done that before, um, especially when I was breastfeeding. It just happens. Um, but you need to take care of yourself and obviously I've stressed, stressed that through this entire video so I'm not going to stress it anymore, but sleep is important. Um, Number eight, and this is the final one that I can really think of, is get into a good routine early on. Even like before the baby gets here, get into a little bit of a routine as um, like as far as like feeding and changing and stuff like that. Obviously, you can't do without the baby being there, but just kind of like mentally prepare yourself for it. And then once the baby's there, get into a good routine. Get, um, obviously, there's going to be two of them, so um, the changing, the feeding, the you know, the snuggle time, the downtime. Try and get into a good routine with it so that they're sleeping together or they're sleeping at the same time. Um, just whatever your routine is, and everybody's is going to be different, just get into a good routine early on and keep that routine going to the end. Um, obviously it's going to change as the kids get older and I will be actually getting into that in my next video is kind of surviving the toddler years. I do have twin two-year-olds right now. Um, they'll be three in August like I said. So I'm kind of going through the toddler stages now, the terrible twos and all of that. So I will have a lot to say about that. That is going to be a long, long video. Um, but for now, that is all I have for surviving twins, the like zero to six months. Um, sleep when you can, get into a good routine, don't hold them all the time, they don't need to be held 24-7, I made that mistake, um, to the point where they would only sleep on me and not 
in their cribs or the bassinets so it was terrible for the first couple months trying to break that um, everything I've already been over um, keep, keep a lookout for my next video and I will see you guys in my next one bye